There was some big news that came out of Argentina earlier this week, and it could impact the wheat markets. Kim, let's talk about the president-elect of Argentina. Well, he's promised to uh, do away with the export taxes for the, uh, gra the grains in Argentina. You look at uh, wheat, that's 23% tax on wheat, a 25% export tax on corn, and a 35% export on soybeans. Uh, reports are that uh, the producers have been holding back their, uh, their commodities. One, uh, for inflation, you know, it's a hedge against inflation, but two, they, the, all through the election, uh, the uh, president-elect has said that uh, he would do away with these taxes, so they're holding off uh, so that we can get export demand and then get higher prices. Now that uh, on those soybeans, they're talking about they've got uh, you know a third of of the last year's record crop in storage. Uh, they've been storing those in silo bags, by the way, and I thought that's pretty interesting on how they're doing that. Uh, the, uh, the word on the street is, if that tax done away with, that the wheat acres could increase as much as 31% next year. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens, but it looks like it's coming on. But that should already be factored in the market. Okay, so, so all, the, all, all of this news really may not have an effect on the wheat price. Well, I think it'll have some impact. Uh, you know, there's always, you know, they anticipate, but you don't know what's going to happen, what degree, is, degree it's going to happen. So I think it's been factored in to a certain degree, but it will still, at least on the short run, have a negative impact. Let's talk about some of the prices that, that are factoring into this. Well, if you look at where prices are now on wheat, uh, they're the, the lowest since July of 2010. You look at corn, uh, July of 14, they hit the, this bottom, came back up. But you go back to July, and t uh, July 2010 for corn prices to get this low. Soybeans, you got to go back to uh, 09 and 10. You know, they were down in 09, came up just a little bit and then back down in 10. Uh, canola. Oh, the canola prices are just low now, and can't, there is no bid for canola right now in Oklahoma, either new crop or old crop, uh, but if you look at the canola futures and can Canadian canola prices, they're up about a dollar ten, a dollar fifteen cents from harvest, so our harvest price was around six, uh, that'd get them up to around seven to seven and a quarter. There's some cattle out on wheat right now. Let's say the, 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 the wheat price stays where it is, or, or, or where it is, or possibly drops. Is there is there a point where cattle producers, wheat producers say, you know, I'm, I'm going to give up on the grain option of this wheat. I'm just going to feed out cattle. Well, I think this year's uh, decision on whether the grains are out uh, or not is going to be mostly dependent upon the cattle price. Uh, wheat prices are relatively low. They could go a little lower, but the, I think the big risk is in cattle prices because wheat prices are already down near the floor. Right. Cattle prices, they're on a downtrend. We know that over the next few years they're going to continue lower. It's just how they're going to do that. So one, the decision is, is do you have wheat pasture to graze? Two, do you already have the cattle on hand? And three, what's the risk that price is going lower? And, and all of this decision needs to be decided before for solo step. Well, I think that uh, right now, if they've got the cattle, they're going to keep them until the January, February time period. Then that's that's the, the time that they're going to have to say, do I carry them on or do I part company with them? Okay, but right now the market doesn't, or, or, or the wheat market, there's no indication either way. I don't think the wheat market will be a factor in your cattle to uh, graze out decision right now. Okay, Kim Anderson, grain market marketing specialist here at Oklahoma State University.